Hello students, welcome to our channel Learning Notebook. It is always fun to learn maths through activities. So today we have come up with an interesting and creative activity for you to understand and learn Roman numerals. For this activity, we need some white thick sheets, a ruler, a black marker pen, a pencil, a pair of scissors, a bottle of glue, and a box of matchsticks. Aim of this art integrated project is to learn Roman numeral rules and then make a beautiful chart of Roman numerals from 1 to 1000 using matchsticks. Students, you can make this chart up to 500 or up to 100 also. If you still not have subscribed to our channel Learning Notebook, then do subscribe it and make sure to press the bell icon. Roman number system or Roman numerals uses seven symbols to write any numeral. First Roman symbol is I, which represents one. Second Roman symbol is V, which represents 5. Next symbol is X, which represents 10. Then next Roman symbol is L, which represents 50. Next one is C, which represents 100. Sixth Roman symbol is D, which represents 500. And the last Roman symbol is M, which represents 1000. So students, these are the seven Roman symbols. Now let's learn rules related to Roman numerals. First rule is, Repetition of Roman numerals means addition. So this rule says whenever Roman numerals are repeated, then we do addition. For example, I, I. Here, I is being repeated. So it means we will add. We will do 1 plus 1 which is equals to 2. In the same way, if we are given x, x, here x is being repeated. So, we will do 10 plus 10 which is equals to 20. Similarly, x, x, x means we will add 10 three times which is equals to 30. So, this is rule number 1. Repetition of Roman numerals means addition. Rule number two is a symbol is not repeated more than three times. It means a Roman symbol cannot be repeated more than three times. But the symbols V, L and D are never repeated. So students, symbols V, L and D, they are never repeated. Okay, let's take few examples. I, I, I. Here, I is repeated three times. And it cannot be repeated more than three times. So this means we will do addition of one three times. So we will do one plus one plus one, which is equals to 3. Next, x, x, x. Here x is being repeated 3 times. So, we will add 10 3 times which is equals to 30. Next example, c, c, c. c represents 100. So, we will add 100 3 times which is equals to 300. So, c, c, c represents number 300. So, this was rule number 2 which says a symbol is not repeated more than 3 times 
and symbols V, L and D are never repeated. Now let's see rule number 3. Smaller numeral written after a larger numeral means addition. Students, let's understand this rule with the help of an example. V, I. Here V is a larger numeral and I is a smaller numeral. So we will do addition. So whenever we have a smaller numeral after larger numeral, we will do addition. So let's do 5 plus 1 which is equals to 6. Let's take another example. V, I, I. Here also we have a larger numeral first, then a smaller numeral and then repetition of smaller numeral. So it means we will do addition. We will do 5 plus 1 plus 1 which is equals to 7. So, V, I, I represents 7. X, I, I. Here also, we have a larger numeral X first, then a smaller numeral I, and then repetition of same numeral. So, we will do addition. 10 plus 1 plus 1, which is equals to 12. So, X, I, I represents number 12. So, this was rule number 3. Smaller numeral written after a larger numeral means addition. Rule number 4. It says smaller numeral written before a larger numeral means subtraction. Let's take an example to understand this rule. I, V. Here, smaller numeral, I, which represents number 1, is written before larger numeral, V, which represents number 5. So, it means we will do subtraction. We will do 5 minus 1, which is equals to 4. Another example, I, X. Here also, Smaller numeral i is written before larger numeral x. So, let's do subtraction. 10 minus 1 which is equals to 9. Another example x l. Here x represents 10 and l represents 50. So, we will do subtraction. 50 minus 10 equals to 40. Let's take one more example. X, C. So, here X which represents 10 is written before larger numeral C which represents 100. So, let's do subtraction. We will do 100 minus 10 which is equals to 90. So, X, C represents 90. So, this was rule number 4, which says smaller numeral written before a larger numeral means subtraction. Now, students, there are 4 more points which we need to keep in mind while doing subtraction in Roman numerals. First point is, I can be subtracted from V and X only. So, whenever we are doing subtraction, we have to remember that i can be subtracted from v and x only. For example, we can write iv or ix. Both are correct. So, remember i can be subtracted from v and x only. Second point, X can be subtracted from L and C only. For example, we can write XL or XC. These are correct. So, remember X can be subtracted from L and C only. 
third point c can be subtracted from d and m only for example we can write cd or cm so remember c can be subtracted from d and m only now last point v l and d are never subtracted let me tell you why suppose we do we write vx so it means we will do 10 minus 5 which is equals to 5 but students we already have a symbol v for 5 so vx cannot be equal to 5 so this is the reason that we say that v l and d are never subtracted so students these are the four rules of roman numerals on the basis of these rules only we will make roman numerals from 1 to 1000 so let's start with our activity first let's learn how to form roman symbols with the help of matchsticks students if you put one matchstick vertically it resembles roman symbol i which means number 1 next place two matchsticks in the form of letter v this roman symbol represents number 5 After this take one full matchstick and two half matchsticks and arrange them in the form of letter x as shown here this roman symbol represents number 10 now take one full matchstick and one half matchstick and arrange them in the form of letter l This Roman symbol L represents number fifty. Now take one full matchstick and two half matchsticks and arrange them in the form of letter C. This Roman symbol C represents number one hundred. Now take two full matchsticks and two half matchsticks and arrange them in the form of letter d this roman symbol will represent number 500 and lastly again take two full matchsticks and two half matchsticks and arrange them in the form of letter m this roman symbol m represents number 1000 so students in this way you can make roman symbols with the help of matchsticks now let's take a chart paper and divide it into rectangles as shown here write the heading as roman numerals Now let's start with Roman numeral for number one. We already have a symbol for one, which is I. So let's paste one matchstick vertically. Now next is number two. Let's find out Roman numeral for two. Two can be written as one plus one. So its Roman numeral will be I I. So let's paste two matchsticks here. Now next is number three. Three can be written as one plus one plus one. So its Roman numeral will be I I I. So we have pasted. Three matchsticks vertically here. Now let's move to number four. 
Number 4 can be written as 5 minus 1. And since it is subtraction here, we will write smaller numeral first. So we will paste one matchstick vertically and then to represent 5, we will paste V. So we will use two matchsticks here and paste it in the form of V. So this is the Roman numeral for number 4, I, V. Now next, we have to represent number 5. And we already have a symbol, Roman symbol for number 5, which is V. Okay, now let's move to number 6. 6 can be written as 5 plus 1. 5 is represented by V. And 1 is represented by I. So we have pasted matrix accordingly here. So this is Roman symbol for number 6. V, I. Next is 7 which can be written as 5 plus 1 plus 1. So to represent 5, let's paste 2 matrix in the form of letter V and then 2 I. So this is Roman numeral for number 7. V, I, I. Next we have number 8 which can be written as 5 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. So let's paste match checks in the form of letter V and then in the form of 3 I's. So V, I, I, I is the Roman numeral for number 8. Next, let's find out Roman numeral for number 9. 9 can be written as 10 minus 1. So, here we have subtraction. So, it means we will write the smaller numeral first. So, let's paste I and then 10 is represented by X. So, we will paste match checks in the form of letter X. So, IX is the Roman numeral for number 9. Next, we have 10. And we already have a symbol for 10. It is in the form of letter X. Okay. So, in this way, we have uh, pasted Roman numerals for number 1 to 10 as of now. Next, let's find out Roman numeral for number 11. 11 can be written as 10 plus 1. So, let's paste X and then I. So, XI is the Roman numeral for number 11. Then, what about number 12? It can be written as 10 plus 1 plus 1. So, again, we will form matrix in the form of letter X and then 2I. So, XII is the Roman numeral for number 12. Then, we have number 13, which can be written as 10 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. So, let's paste XII. I, I. Yes, three times I. So, X, I, I, I is the Roman numeral for number 13. Next, number 14. 14 can be written as 10 plus 4. And we know 4 can be written as 5 minus 1. So, let's represent 10 by letter X. And then we will use I, V, because 4 is represented by I, V. So, X, I, V is the Roman numeral for number 14. Then we have 15, which can be written as 10 plus 5. So, let's paste matrix in the form of letter X and V. So, XV is the Roman numeral for number 15. Then we have number 16, 
which can be written as 10 plus 5 plus 1. So let's paste x, v, i. So x, v, i is the Roman numeral for number 16. Then number 17, which can be written as 10 plus 5 plus 1 plus 1. So we will paste x, v, and then 2i. So x, v, i, i is the Roman numeral for number 17. After this, we have number 18, which can be written as 10 plus 5 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. So we will paste x, v, and 3i. So this is the Roman numeral for number 18. Now let's move to number 19, which can be written as 10 plus 9. And 9 can be written as 10 minus 1. So let's paste x and then 9 is represented by i x. So x i x is the Roman numeral for number 19. Then we have 20, which can be written as 10 plus 10. So let's paste 2x. So x x is the Roman numeral for number 20. So students, we just made Roman numerals from 11 to 19. Similarly, you can make Roman numerals from 21 to 29 also. So let's continue and make Roman numerals for 30, 40, 50 and so on till 100. So next is 30 which can be written as 10 plus 10 plus 10. So we will paste 3x here to represent number 30. Now next is number 40, which can be written as 50 minus 10. Here we have subtraction. So it means we will paste the smaller numeral first. So let's paste x first and then symbol for 50 is L. So we will paste matrix in the form of letter L. So x L is the Roman numeral for number 40. Then we have 50, for which we already have a symbol of letter L. Next, 60, which can be written as 50 plus 10. So let's paste L first and then X. So L X is the Roman numeral for number 60. Then we have number 70, which can be written as 50 plus 10 plus 10. So we will paste L, X, X. So this is the Roman numeral for number 70. Next, we have number 80, which can be written as 50 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10. So let's paste L, then 3x. So L, X, X, X is the Roman numeral for number 80. Now we are going to form Roman numeral for number 90, which can be written as 100 minus 10. So here we have subtraction. So let's paste smaller numeral first. We will paste X. And then we have a symbol for 100, which is C. So let's paste mass sticks in the form of letter C. So X, C is the Roman numeral for number 90. And ne next we have 100. And we already have a symbol for 100, which is letter C. Okay, students. So till now. We have learned how to form Roman numerals from 1 to 100.
Next, let's find Roman numeral for number 200. It can be written as 100 plus 100. And 100 is represented by letter C. So, let's paste 2C here. So, CC is the Roman numeral for number 200. Then we have number 300, which can be written as 100 plus 100 plus 100. So, let's paste 3C. C, C, C. So, this is the Roman numeral for number 300. Next, let's find Roman numeral for 400, which can be written as 500 minus 100. Since we have a subtraction here, so let's paste smaller numeral first. So we will paste C and then we have a symbol for 500 which is D. So we will paste matchstick in the form of letter D. So C D is the Roman numeral for number 400. Next 500 and we already have a symbol for 500 which is letter D. So let's paste match sticks in the form of letter D to represent number 500. Next 600 which can be written as 500 plus 100. For 500 we will paste letter D and for 100 we will paste letter C. So, DC is the Roman numeral for 600. Next, 700, which can be written as 500 plus 100 plus 100. So, let's paste letter D and then 2C. So, DCC is the Roman numeral for 700. Next, 800, which can be written as 500 plus 100 plus 100 plus 100. So, we will paste letter D and 3 times C. So, D, C, C, C. This is the Roman numeral for 800. Next number, 900, which can be written as 1000 minus 100. Since we have a subtraction here, so we will paste smaller numeral first. So, let's paste C and then M, which is the symbol for 1000. So, C, M is the Roman numeral for 900. And lastly, we have 1000. And we already have a symbol for 1000. So, let's paste matchsticks in the form of letter M to represent 1000. Okay, so students, in this way, we have formed this beautiful chart to represent Roman numerals from 1 to 1000. If you are a teacher, this activity will help you to teach students the Roman numerals in a fun way. And if you are a student, this activity is very useful for you to make Maths Art Integrated Project on Roman Numerals. So, thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.